Hi my loves, welcome back to this channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. As you can tell from the thumbnail, I scored at Chanel. This was actually not from one trip, it was from three separate purchases actually. Um, I was pretty patient, I had to wait for certain items to come in. As you guys already know, we get things a little bit late here in Canada. So yeah, these items, some of them are actually from the 20P collection and then a couple of them from the 20S collection. Before I get started, I do want to take a moment to talk about the situation right now, the entire world is affected. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, the coronavirus. These difficult and uncertain times are a bit scary and we all feel a little bit funky. Personally, I've been feeling a little bit, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a little bit depressing, feeling a little bit negative at the same time, just because of the whole situation that's affecting the entire world. Uh, personally, I have family in Hong Kong. I'm glad that the situation over there is a little bit more in control now. However, in North America, as well as I'm pretty sure the rest of the world, things are outbreaking. There are exponentially more cases every single day. So it gets pretty depressing if you ask me. So hopefully this video will bring you a little bit of distraction and I just want to, you know, say that very quickly. I hope everyone stays safe. I plan on making another video talking about what I've been doing. I guess what I've been asking my family to do as well. So I hope that you tune in on Thursday to watch that. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is the beautiful blouse that I'm wearing. Uh, this is from Lily Silk. You guys know that I love their products. Uh, and also I got a lot of feedback from a lot of you telling me how much you love their products as well. They make beautiful silk products, but they also make beautiful cashmere. I highly recommend them and I'm super grateful that these things were gifted to me. Let me take a moment to just describe what I got here. So this is a beautiful crew neck in their beautiful 100% cashmere. I left the tags on because I wanted to show you guys how it normally comes in. It comes in a beautiful packaging to shoes. Um, they always give you extra buttons or extra threads if you need to repair it. And they always come very neatly packaged, very neatly folded. Hardly any folds, but they're easily steamed. I already own two other cashmere products from them and I wore them the entire winter. Every time I don't know what to wear, I just throw on one of these sweaters. It's so easy. For the sweaters, I take a small because that's their smallest size. But sweaters are great because uh, you want them a little bit not oversized but just a little bit more relaxed classic fit same thing with their silk they're amazing they're so comfortable they're always true to size i always take an extra small for shirts i like them a little bit more fitted but they're not super fitted anyway they are super breathable this beautiful khaki-ish color almost like a beige color is really really neutral easy to match so i highly recommend them i'll have everything linked down below let's reveal and unbox the two smaller items first and this one I've already started wearing. If you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen what it is. A lot of you had a pretty keen eye. So it comes like that with a little booklet. We never get these tags here when I purchase at Chanel in Canada. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever gotten these tags anywhere else I've shopped except in the USA. So uh, yes, these earrings, I did have to source them from the USA because they were actually never ordered in Canada, which I find so weird because it is on the website. It even has a price on it in Canadian dollars, but none of the boutiques in Canada ordered it. Let's go ahead and reveal these beautiful earrings. They are so pretty. And I knew the moment I saw these on the website ever since when they, I guess, you know, officially posted on their Chanel website what's coming up in the 20p collection that I wanted these. They are so so pretty. It's a very orangey gold so it's not the light champagne gold at all which you know what I don't mind at all because these look vintage. They have such a good vibe to them um, and then they don't have any stones which a lot of you guys I know prefer. A lot of you guys have concerns about falling stones which have never happened to myself personally and I talked about it in my Q&A so you can check that out as well but yeah I'm so happy to be able to add these they're very light and I did want to just do a very quick comparison so um, one of my longer Chanel earrings are these Chanel ones from the uh, spring summer collection of last year so this was from last year and this is from this year 
both of them from the spring summer collection and as you can see the new ones are slightly longer by about a centimeter and a half the crystal ones are still a little bit longer I would say about a centimeter longer. So I already knew that they would be pretty bold and pretty statement. Uh, also, the fact that they have this vintage gold color uh, gives off a very nice vintage vibe as well. I love it. And how amazing it is because it matches the chains on my 19 bag. So they are definitely doing something uh, in a similar vibe, which I'm so excited about. I love these earrings so much. So this is the code and they are made in France. So if you are interested, you can try to track them down. And they were 525 US dollars plus applicable taxes. The second item came in this beautiful box. Let's go ahead and unbox it little booklet i don't have anything like this yet so i'm super excited about these and to reveal this beautiful necklace really loving this charm over here on the necklace and i love this packaging i feel like this box is going to be perfect for traveling because not only can i store my necklaces in there with the protective uh, foam on top but also I can put my other earrings and everything and everything will stay in place because that foam will keep them in place and I can just have all my jewelry in this box this is part of the 19s collection I told you guys that I always wanted to add a necklace but not just a pendant necklace the actual pearl very famous classic necklace from Chanel and this is the charm that's on this one. I like that this one is simple but still interesting. I love that the CC is just big enough, not too big, not too small. I also love the fact that this is a champagne gold color so it's going to be super easy to match with almost anything, silver or gold. And I love the fact that it's super long so you can wear it just one layer or you can double it up. It looks very pretty. I'm going to style it with my sweater later for you guys to see because it's just a very very stunning piece obviously this is costume jewelry so the pearls are faux pearls and yes there are some rhinestones and some um i guess glass pearls here on the charm as well um but like i said i've never had any issues before so hopefully it stays the same way it has a couple actually three different adjustments so you can make it slightly longer if you want to and i'm just gonna throw it on right now but it doesn't really go with this shirt since i'm already wearing huge earrings but just to give you an idea how pretty this can look on a very simple sweater i think it's amazing and the best part is that this necklace, I was very surprised when I saw that it was only priced at $14.50 Canadian plus tax, obviously. You guys probably know by now that I'm a pretty savvy shopper. Um, and so when I saw the price of this, I was like, this is too good to be true because none of these pearl necklaces are usually less than $2,000. Honestly, almost like a bargain because they are brand new from the retail store and they will look so nice when I pair it with all my other pearl jewelry. Time to unbox the largest purchase. And of course, it comes with one of these. Let's go ahead and unbox this. To reveal, ladies and gentlemen, super exciting because this, this is so hard to get to um, in Canada and in the US so very glad that I was able to get my hands on this beauty here so pretty came with a dust bag obviously and here is the beautiful bag so this is the Chanel mini rectangular handbag a uh, flat bag and it is in this beautiful seasonal tweed from 20s so the spring summer collection i've never owned a tweed bag ever before so this will be a learning experience i am a little nervous so i definitely want your feedback down below if you own any tweed bags let me know down below how it wears how you protect it uh, whether you spray anything on it like I, I hear people spraying scotch guard on their fabric bags and that apparently it works really well but personally I never treat any of my bags so I 
don't know if I'll end up doing it, but I'm I'm just curious. Just so just let me know. Uh, so here is a close up. If you really look very closely, you're gonna see a Chanel ribbon running across this tweed. It's intertwined in the tweed, and it goes across, up and down. It's so cute, so unique, so beautiful, and. Even though it looks black and white on the camera, it is actually not quite black and white. They call the color of this fabric black, white, and ecru. I had to look at what ecru means actually, and it's unbleached linen, or the color of unbleached linen. So it gives you an idea of how it looks in person, because in person it's not quite black and white. It's almost like a vintage color, which I think can be a pro for this tweed since usually with white color, if it yellows or if it gets dirty, then it's very hard to clean, uh, especially if it's not an item that you can just dry clean, right? So I'm glad that they use a crew because then it already lends itself to the vintage vibe. So even if it gets a little dirty, it should be fine. Because it is a fabric bag, I don't think it will be my everyday bag, although none of my Chanel minis are everyday bags anyway because you do have to downsize significantly and I do rotate my bags enough that they don't become everyday bags. I do notice that the tweed on this one is not the tightest that I've seen. What I mean by that is, you know, Chanel has different tweed every single season and some of them, the weave on it or the, the way it's uh, constructed, it's super tight and other times it's not so tight. So it'll be pretty interesting to find out as I, you know, not experiment, but like as I get to learn to know my bag a little bit more and the material on this one. Although the bag looks silver, it is actually a very, very, very light champagne gold color, which is amazing again because I can wear gold or silver and it doesn't really matter in the end because I don't mind mixing metals anyway but as you can see compared to these earrings you can't really tell that it's a it's a very light champagne gold. I also took out my other rectangle mini which is in the raspberry caviar from I always forget now is it 18b? I want to say 18b it doesn't matter. I have a feeling that the tweed one looks slightly bigger but it's it's such a small difference that it doesn't uh, show up on camera but it also looks a bit taller which is interesting but you guys also know that these mini flaps are seasonal so they sometimes do change up things a little bit and I also noticed that the strap drop on my raspberry one is longer than the tweed one as well not by very much but still there is a bit of difference on the inside the leather is smooth and very very buttery soft i almost feel like it's lambskin i really don't know what skin it is but uh yeah this feels very similar to the one uh, of my reissue you know how like the reissue on the underneath it's also really soft uh, but the inside of the bag so the body inside is also leather lined and this one feels a little tougher so I feel like the inside is a calf skin but the top feels like lamb skin um, which is very interesting that they do that it's made in France and it is a 29 series I also think that because it is fabric on the outside the bag just seems a bit more flexible it just feels very flexible easy to maneuver probably fits a bit more but that's it for the unboxing i hope that you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna do modeling shots right after this but uh, like i said guys even though we are in difficult times and it's very uncertain just try to stay safe try to stay home as much as you can uh, if you are sick please do not go out especially do not visit your elderlies or anybody who has a compromised immune system i personally do so i'm very paranoid i do a lot just to stay safe at home but uh yeah hopefully you guys are doing well and hopefully this was a nice little short distraction for you just a little few eye candies for you to see brand new from the collection so hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for joining me today if you're brand new to my channel i really hope that you decide to subscribe i would love it if you do and it would really help me out also if you give it a like comment down below to say hi anyway thank you again and have a great day or week ahead of you i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye <laughs>